If you are struggling to get a job in the biotech sector, then this truth is about to hit you hard. Well, truly speaking, it is easy to get a job in biotech, but it is harder. Now, many people will say it is hard to get a job in biotech. So, okay, let's say that it is hard to get a job in biotech for the sake of those who find it hard. But it is harder to survive the first year of the job. Now, why do I say that it is harder to survive in the first year? Let me explain by giving you some pointers. See, the academic reality is different and the industrial reality is different. Many freshers enter biotech roles with solid academic knowledge. They actually perform well in the interviews. But after that, what happens? The first year, they face, they face steep learning curve because there were no SOPs in the academic life. But here is SOPs, GLP, GMP compliance, documentation, strict timelines, targets. And if you don't do it, your supervisor is going to yell at you. So that's one side. Then the pressure of de deliverables. See, in college, you can bunk classes. Experiments fail, nobody cares. But here, everything has a consequence. You are support, supposed to know things. So... Any failed experiment will cost time, money and credibility. So your reputation is at stake. So you, your experiment should not fail. That's one. Then the pressure to deliver consistent results. That's another pressure, right? Of course, the workplace, culture, professionalism, you're not supposed to um, you know, yell at people. You're su supposed to stay calm when people yell at you rather. You have to take criticism uh, positively. You have to handle the reporting managers smartly. There can be long hours. There can be... Um, learning curve for documentation, regulatory compliance, audits, and it's not just about experiments. Any error in documentation can lead to warnings or even regulatory action. So that, that is where the problem is skill gap. Why you are not able to survive the first year? In fact, many people get rejected in the interview itself, but people who even qualified the interview, the skill gap is a problem. So you have to learn skills like LIMS, ELN, HPLC, GC, LCMS, automation platforms, AIML tools, and then you have to apply because these jobs are high risk and it can take a huge amount of mental toll if you do not prepare well. So skill up and then get in all the way.